the Cooney School of Law, so City University School of Law. And they chose as their speaker, the students chose Fatima Musa Muhammad. She doesn't just take hatred towards America. She takes it towards the Jews. She takes it towards the, the capitalist. Uh, she takes it towards law itself. Like many of you, I chose CUNY School of Law for its articulated mission to be law in the service of human needs. One of very few legal institutions created to recognize that the law is a manifestation of white supremacy that continues to oppress and suppress people in this nation and around the world. So why go to law school? Why spend your time learning the law of the oppressor? This is nothing. You're not hearing like the shocking part yet. This is more the... Oh, yeah, maybe this is the general liberal you know, college kid talking point. But, yeah, it definitely keeps going. By the end of this thing, it's like a call to violence in our nation's elementary schools. It's very I'm not awesome. kidding you. May the rage that fills this auditorium dance in the hallways of our elementary schools. In our home villages of Sheikh Jarrah, Aden, Yemen, Haiti, Puerto Rico, and the Philippines. Because, Logan, if you don't like capitalism, you also can't like Jews. No. And, and it gets there. And we Directly. Want, and so as she said it, capitalism. Oh, yeah, Zionism, yeah. Zionism. So you got to... The dirty dislike word of Zionism. The U.S. Uh, markets, free market system, but you also have to dislike the Jews. And let's hope that it starts dancing through the halls of our elementary schools. I'm sorry, Fatima. This, our elementary schools are not like the schools run by Hamas. It gets very specific in terms of uh, police oh, yeah. and the NYPD. I think we should play that bite. And we did all of this in spite of the racism, in spite of the selective activism, the self-serving interests of CUNY Central, an institution that continues to fail us, that continues to train and cooperate with the fascist NYPD, the military, that continues to train IDF soldiers to carry out that same violence globally. Tying in the NYPD. So she's saying that if you went to, let's say you were, you served in the IDF but were accepted into the CUNY schools system, you shouldn't be allowed in. Yeah, and also the NYPD. And I like that she calls out her own university in this part. Oh, she yeah. Goes, and, and I love that the university approved it. That's like the most New York thing ever to be like, you know what, in this commission speech, let's make sure we take our own hits. You yeah, know, and we, we know are just we oppressing have, these students. Ex exactly. We know the central institution, we continue to fail them because we're supporting the NYPD. But you know that probably some of the people approving this do feel that way because they're the same people taking machetes to pro-lifers next. There are Palestinian political prisoners like HLF in U.S. prisons. That's the Holy Land Foundation, indicted by the, those individuals who were depart, de, indicted by the Department of Justice in 2009 because they sent illegally $12 million to a U.S. recognized terrorist organization, Hamas, in the Gaza Strip, which regularly carries out terror attacks against uh, Israel, an ally of the United States, that has also carried out terrorist attacks that has killed Americans. Yeah. So she's defending that as well. Why isn't the leadership at the City University of New York totally horrified and embarrassed that they have a speaker who is so intolerant and anti-Semitic that it, the speaker is celebrated in the ultimate ceremony of graduation? It's sad. It shows that New York City is filled with people who are so woke they don't see their own intolerance. And shame on them. And, and they sh there should be high... Uh, condemnation from both sides of the aisle. In this moment of celebrating who we are, I want to celebrate CUNY Law as one of the few, if not the only law school, to make a public statement defending the right of its students to organize and speak out against Israeli settler colonialism. She's tried to just talk about basic free speech, which she probably hates. At the same time, she, what the difference is in this speech, Logan, is she's trying to constantly say that the law school is doing this. Now, we believe her giving this speech to law school has gotten themselves in trouble because there's federal laws that prohibit you from supporting racism. There's federal laws on the BDS Yes, movement. I mean, they, yeah, they're not talking about that. And this is coming from a place of, of a public institution. Uh, that she is claiming supports and funds the BDS movement, which then would put their federal funding in right. jeopardy. Good. <laughs> right. So, I mean, that's why we are playing through this. This school could face serious consequences. In fact... They took the speech down off YouTube initially. So they figured it they out. They know. They know. They knew it was not only just going to be a story on TV or something that people would talk about. They know that it could actually have an impact on their financial future. Now, quickly, they had to put the speech back up because you think those kids took that? But it's not something to laugh about because the issues are far deeper than just one person's speech. I, I, I don't laugh. Be, I, I mean, you, you do have to keep some humor yeah, to, to a fight in America. I don't think this is this. I don't think this is a one-off. I think this is right. pretty normal inside 
higher levels of, higher levels of education now. We don't always get it caught on camera, mm-hmm. but when we do, we need to expose it. 